Hello, one rookie critic. Okay, I don't have a slogan yet, but I shall come up with one later. Today on Dragon Ball Topics, I would like to talk about the Super Dragon Balls. We first hear of them when Champa is searching in Universe 7 for them, and we discovered they are planet-sized Dragon Balls that only exist between Universe 6 and 7. They were created a long time ago by Zarama, a character that we haven't seen and don't know that much about yet. Some people have thrown up the idea that he could be above the Zenos themselves, thanks to a line that I don't remember the character, but I think that it was probably Whis that said that the Super Dragon Balls could possibly kill a god of destruction. Others speculate that he is the original Namekian, which I think would be freaking awesome and make a lot of sense considering all of the abilities that they have. But let's take a look at the feats that the Super Dragon Balls have shown on wish granting so far. One, it created a planet Earth for Universe 6, which seems easy as pie for it. Then, Zamasu used it to wish for immortality, swap bodies with Goku, and make it so that no one can use them anymore. Those feats are decent, sure, but for the most part, they seem pretty low on the scale for wish granting abilities. We haven't seen their wish granting potential just yet, so it is possible that they can just do anything. Most people in the community expect that at the end of the tournament, all of the erased universes will return with a wish from the surviving universe. And I practically expect that too, since the creators of the show have stated that this show is taking place before the end of Dragon Ball Z, which means that no matter what, Universe 7 is gonna be fine. I mean, hell, Earth has been destroyed at least twice and revived, and most of the main characters have all died at least once, yet they are alive and kicking now. So bringing back erased universes is probably normal in the Dragon Ball world. However, this is where I see a problem. They have made it very clear throughout DBZ and Super that when you die you go to the other world and may be wished back and or gain life again through some other means, plus King Kai has been dead for a while and is no different from when he was alive. When Beerus Hakai Zamasu, he did not go to the other world of Universe 10, he was erased and gone forever. So that should technically mean he can't come back, right? Like there is nowhere to bring him back from, he's just straight up gone. The same rules would apply to erased universes, right? The only way that I assume that they would return is if the Omni Kings decide that the tournament was the coolest thing they ever witnessed and want to watch more cool stuff like that. They might, they might revive the universes and fighters they erased and also create a few more universes so more awesome fighters could spring up and entertain them. That would be acceptable to me, and this way the winning fighter would have the option to wish for something else, and if they don't have to worry about wishing back erased universes or fallen warriors, then it would be much more difficult to speculate what the winner's wish would be. <clears throat> and that is what makes these sort of topics more fun. Who do you guys think will get to make a wish on the Super Dragon Balls? Do you think the balls can revive universes? What do you think about the Omni Kings creating more universes? Let me know in the comments. I'm the Rookie Critic. Have a good one, guys.